Yo, it's the Glee Tools, Lejeune here. Now we back in it with some more Suicide Squad. So you see on the title of today's video and you see on the screen right now, they are doing play tests for Suicide Squad and you can actually sign up for it right now, which is pretty crazy. So if you guys want the website so you can sign up and get a chance to play Suicide Squad, I got y'all. It will be in the description below. So let's actually just go over this whole thing itself. So of course, we got a playlist upcoming. They got the platform, of course. We already know that. Uh, the genre. I already got mine filled out what I played. The action adventure, first person, third person shooters. That's my thing. Hero shooters, I play that. Looter shooters, I play that. Multiplayer online battle arenas, I play that. Um, I think you can say I play MMOs too. I pretty much play all of this. Let's let's just play all that. I, I do this. I played Skyrim before. I do uh, Masculine uh, MMOs, DC Universe Online, Looter Shooters, Heroes, I do all that. So we got that. Um, the motivation of playing the game. Of course, I click these because these are really like my motivations when it comes to playing these type of games. I enjoy the immersive in the world, feeling like I'm a part of the story, being a part of the community and playing and socializing with my friends. That is what I like to do. All that good stuff. Um, have you ever played any of these following games slash series? Of course. You know, we played, everybody has played the Batman Arkham series. Let's be real. Destiny 2 played that. Spider-Man played that. I haven't played none of these. I mean, I played Borderlands, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, but no Halo Infinite. I played Division 2. And you know what made it appear, y'all? Marvel's Avengers. Bruh. <laughs> All right, so we did get some new information when it comes to how this playtest will work for Suicide Squad. So it seems like it's going to actually take place on November 30th, and it will go all the way to December 4th, which is pretty nice. That's four days to actually play, the, I think five or four days to actually play the game itself. And the crazy thing about it, this will be under NDA. So if you get selected to play, you cannot show any type of gameplay or anything like that it seems like the way they're going to be doing it is how they do all the play tests they will have it on the screen where they have technical things up there and if you try to leak this they will know that you leaked it so hey gg if you want to take that risk and try it but honestly this is pretty cool and it seems like it's going to be a section of the campaign that you can actually play so i'm looking at it right here so um it's like pretty low when it comes to this so it states that um the game is still in development the test will only represent a small specific section of the campaign and will not represent the full slash final experience of the games okay Bruh. all right so sorry i got interrupted but just to basically break it down this will be under nda this will take place on, on november 30th all the way to the 4th and basically if you try to leak this you're pretty much going to be in trouble since we're going to be having to sign an nda for this so if you get selected please do not try to leak the game because you will get they will find you especially since it's going to set up where you can actually see your information on the screen while you're play testing because i've done these type of play tests before because i worked at qa and i play tested games some games early before and i know how this stuff goes so please don't try it please don't but let me know in the comments are you guys excited that they're doing play tests this early for suicide squad or you're really just on the fence about the game but that's pretty much it for today's video let me know how you guys enjoyed it it's lejeune here and i'm gone Peace.